Research being done this winter could greatly help farmers in the summer. The University of Minnesota is now using artificial intelligence and satellites to help farmers detect aphid infestations. John Lordson shows us how it works. They're tiny little insects, soft bodied, and they're sap suckers. The little bug crawling across your screen may not look like much, but when thousands of soybean aphids attack a field, the end result can be devastating. It makes the plant smaller so it can't produce as many seed or as big a seed, which reduces the farmer's yield. In the past, farmers have spent hours walking their fields counting plants infested with aphids to determine whether or not they need to spray insecticide. But Bob Koch, an entomology professor at the U, believes there's a much easier way. More recently, we wanted to see if we could use satellites to get kind of a broader landscape view of uh, soybean aphid infestations in multiple fields. The satellite-based remote sensing, as it's officially called, takes pictures from space, which measure wavelengths of light. Here's uh, the, the, the website showing like, uh, how the satellites work. We actually have two satellites orbiting the, the globe. The upper part here is for a uh, high number of aphids. Here, here is a low, low number of aphids. Light gray means a low infestation, and dark gray means a high infestation. Artificial intelligence then determines how dark it has to be before insecticide is needed. The data is collected during the summer months, and then during the winter, they analyze it in their labs. The goal is to eventually have a website or an app that farmers can use. And it may not be long before a satellite in space and artificial intelligence save a Minnesota farmer a lot of time and money. These guys are busy in the summer, and any way they can save time would, would be an improvement. At the University of Minnesota, John Lordson, WCCO News. While aphid infestations have decreased in certain parts of the country, they remain significant in Minnesota.